Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, May 10th, and this is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live from Chesapeake, Virginia. And I can see we've got uh, some people on here already. Hello, hello, hello. And I s that my screen is already starting to go funky. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's going on with that? Um, I did go get a brand new phone today. And I'm hoping that that's going to solve my problem with the internet. So my computer's on the internet. My phone is on the data. So hopefully the phone is going to be working today. Um, let me know if you can hear me and see me and all that. Hey, Melanie. Hey, T. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Diane. How's everybody doing? Hey, Carla. Hopefully you guys can see and hear me. It was a little bit uh, tricky getting this phone going because it's different than my older. It's a newer iPhone, so um, I wanted to get the 12, and they didn't even have any. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, evidently, there's a shortage of iPhone 12, so I had to get an 11, which is okay. It still works good. Hey, Debbie Spicer. Hey, Annie. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Terry. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Marsha. All right, so we've got a lot of people joining in. Can you guys see me okay? Everything looks good, T? All right, so hopefully this one will last. I know you guys, if you were watching last time on date night, I was so frustrated because the internet was just giving me a hard time. And um, gone fuzzy. This is ridiculous. Okay, my phone is looking really good. So I've got it on just the data plan not the internet. So I'm hoping that you guys can see me good. You want to see my face? <laughs> I don't even have makeup on right now. <laughs> uh, where's my pretty face? Here's my hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are funny. All right. So, hey, <laughs> where's my pretty face? I need to put a picture here. <laughs> You guys are funny. Oh, uh, hey, Beth. All right, so we've got a lot of people joining today. This is good. This is good. And let's all say a little prayer right now. Please, Lord, let this video work the whole entire time and don't stop on me because I am just over that. We need to have positive vibes going. All right, so hey, Michelle. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Jude. All right, and I can't see myself. My computer's just going. Here it comes. Hold on. So evidently my internet's not working very good, but at least the phone is working, so that's good. All right, so um, this is what we're making, and I got this original idea from my friend Michelle. Um, she had this card for a swap that I did, and um, or I hosted, and so I loved it, but I just wanted to change the colors, so I changed it to the blue. So we've got pool party and starry sky or no not starry sky orchid oasis sorry they're so close i get them mixed up but that's the orchid oasis and um, i just changed the sentiment and the the punch there i mean the die cut so um very similar and i love this idea so thank you michelle if you're watching love it love it love it and um i'll show you what we're using for that so we've got this stamp set and the punch that matches. So this is a bundle. So instead of a die, you get a punch. So the punch is good for this one. There is no punch for that one. You gotta cut it out yourself. And this is in the brand new catalog from Stampin' Up. And then I'm also using True Beauty, which is a gorgeous set. I can't wait to use this one. I just used the words on this card, but I'm definitely gonna be doing like a one sheet wonder or something with this soon because I can tell this could be a favorite of mine. Um, also, don't forget, we have a couple specials going on right now. If you are interested in getting a an awesome deal, awesome, awesome, awesome from Stampin' Up, this is the time to do it. Sign up, get the starter kit. There's no obligation. You don't have to do anything else, although you get the discount um, at least 20% off for the next few months through October. So you get over $200 in product for only $99 and get free shipping too. So $125, whatever you want, plus these four 
things for free. So you get grid paper, which is like this, except it's got some red in the flowers. Um, a pack of cardstock, all five new ink pads, and um, all packs of the designer series paper assortments. So that is a great deal. So that is $66, I think, right there, plus the $125, plus a paper pumpkin kit, plus free shipping. So sign up right here, stampingwithlisa.com, click on join my team, and get that starter kit, and you will be all set with the new stuff. Also, if you just want to order, I'm having a special this month. So if you do just the $50 order like normal, you're going to get the card kit. And I don't know if I have the card with me right here. I can't remember which one I'm doing. That's not good, huh? <laughs> um, I think, I can't remember which card kit I'm doing right this minute. <laughs> I, know, I know I did it. I'm going to have to go back and look at my video. <laughs> If you do the $50 or more order, you get the card kit. If you do $125 or more order, you get this. So, not that. <laughs> you get um, both of these. So, the Glossy Dots Assortment, the Rhinestone Basic Jewels, and a pack of designer paper card fronts. So, it's 12 card fronts. Um, and it could be the Wave. It could be something else. Um, just an assortment of different papers. So, that's with $125 or more order. So, good deals going on. Just go right here. Use the host code. Uh, if your order's over 150, don't use the host code because then you get hostess benefits. Um, and then I was having this special. So, if you want to get the in color special, go to my website there and you can order the special. It's all listed right there. All right. So, let's get started. So, we have got, um, oh, Barb, this is your first live. Awesome. Yes, Debbie, it is a good deal. Kai Omega. Hey, Kathy, I put your card in the mail today. Um, might need to focus a little closer. I don't know how to focus it. I mean, I don't think on my phone. I don't know. Maybe I can. Oh, my God. Look at that. I can focus it. So do you guys see it closer now? That's cool. Okay, I never tried that before. Is that too close? Or is that good? Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even know I could do that. Love a lot of stamp sets in the new catalog. Need to win the lottery. Yes. <gasps> Wouldn't I love to do that too? Okay. Laura, make sure you order it. T, love, love, love the stamp set. Yay. Oh, it looks better. I never tried that before. I didn't even know you could do that right while you're, you're doing a video. Oh, learn something new every day. All right. So here's what you need. We have a piece of five and a half by eight and a half white, a piece of five and a quarter by four pool party, a piece of, oh, I didn't even write it down on here. Oh my God, how embarrassing is that? <laughs> I started doing something else. Okay, this is five. I hope it's five. Let me see. Yeah. Five by three and three quarters DSP. And this is from... I think it's called Sun Prince. Hold on. Let me look real quick. I think that's what I did. I stopped to look it up and then I uh, had to go to run to the bathroom and I forgot. So let me look it up real quick. Where is the paper? Here we go. Yeah, Sun Prince. That's what it's called. Sun Prince. Okay. Sun Prince. So that piece, and then we've got our scalloped piece. That is about three and a quarter by four and a half, not quite, almost. Piece of scrap paper, and then this little um, word thing that we're going to use. All right, so there we go, and hopefully you can see that. My computer is so foggy and messed up right now, I can't even see it. So my internet's not working at all, but at least my phone is working, so that's good. All right, so hopefully you can see it. Take a screenshot. It might not be big enough. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me go back out. Is that better? Take a screenshot. And then I'll do it back up again. All right, so got that. Now we'll go back. All right, so take all this off. That's so cool. I just learned something new. <laughs> I'm just so excited. And I have a new phone. I'm just excited about that. Okay, so 
this is what the inside looks like. I just did that little one right there, and I hope I brought that. Yeah, I did. All right, so we're going to be stamping on these pieces here and also inside the card. So um, let's start with the pool party. So these are photopolymer. So because they're photopolymer, you want to make sure you have some kind of a cushion or pad underneath your stuff. I have a whole stack of paper right here, so that's my pad. So I'm going to start with my bottle. And a, just a tip for this. You see that little thing right there? That little, um, let me show you on here. Right there, where it's white. You don't want to get ink on that part right there. So what you need to do is barely drop this on your ink pad like that. So I'm not even pressing. All I did was just stick it on there. And I'm not pressing at all. I just touched it. So I did not press. I'm not topping nothing. Because you don't want to get ink on that. I am going to just do it one more time though. All right. So I got ink on there. I'm going to ink up this. And give it a good press. And there you go. So that's easy enough. Then we're going to punch that out with our punch. So this is just a scrap of white. Um, doesn't matter how big it is, as long as it's bigger than the bottle. So we punched that out. And then I'm going to show you what I did. So I actually stamped a whole bunch of different colors together to see what I liked best. So I went, I wanted this blue pool party. So I did like pool party in purple. That's Heather, Highland Heather. This was uh, Blackberry Bliss. This one was Gorgeous Grape. This one was the Orchid. Oh, actually, I think that one was Starry Sky. And this one is Fresh Freesia. So I kind of looked at them and thought, which one do I like better? I think this one was my second choice with the Highland Heather. But I can cut out all of these because there is... Oh, no, there's not a die. Yes, there is. Is there a die? Hmm. There's not. Darn it. So, but you can cut them by hand. You can just do like fussy cutting. So you can cut these out and put them with this. So I can definitely use these still on another project. All right, so that's done. Then we're gonna do the words. And again, you wanna just barely touch this ink pad. It's not really juicy, but whenever you're doing words, you wanna have a light touch. And just go right there. And it's a little bit high, but that's all right. All right, now here's the hard part. So I did put the last video with this, and I put a T for top on here. Now you can use this with your Stamparatus, which is a good idea, but because mine is a scalloped piece, it's hard to line it up on the Stamparatus because normally if I'm doing that, I'll put a line like where to put my paper, but since it has scallops, it's hard to line it up right on the line. So I just decided to wing it because it's pretty easy to um, line these up, really. Most of my, I had a class today, and most of them did really well. So I'm going to stamp this up near the top. And um, just right in the middle near the top. So we're going to go just like that. Whenever you're using photopolymer, you want to really give it a good um, press and hold it just for a minute to let the ink absorb into the paper. And there you go. So now we're done with the pool party. And we're going to go on to the orchid. I always want to call it orchid opulence, but that's our old orchid color. So it's orchid oasis. And it's very, very close to the starry sky one. It's just a little bit lighter. And it's really blue to me. I think I always think orchid should be purple. But um, to me, this is really like a blue. All right, I'm going to do the inside first. So I'm just going to take this one, not sure what that's called, just a little plant, and we're just going to barely touch it. This is These new pads are so juicy, it is not even funny. So I'm just going to do triple stamping right there three times, set that aside to dry. And then we're going to do this one. Now here's where the careful part comes in. So let me make sure there's no ink on this, and I'm going to show you something. So this is where it's handy to see up close. So there's no ink on here right now. It's just dirty. 
All right, you see the middle of these flowers? So what you wanna do is get these little pieces right here, all of these lined up in the center of all these. So if you look at it, and I have a T here for top two. So these two little um, like wisteria looking things go straight up pretty much. So you're gonna line this up and can you see it? Like right in there, you can kind of see. It's hard to do it without being right over top of it. But see how those all line up in the middle and you can see it right there. So I don't have any ink on here so I'm not trying to mess it up but that's how you can match it up. So you just make sure when you ink it up, you hold it right over top of it and line up that right there. So again, I'm just gonna touch this very gently and let it absorb the ink. So I'm barely touching it and gonna lift it up. And there we go. Are you guys still seeing me? Fussy cut. Um, yeah, fussy cut is just like cutting it yourself. <laughs> but it's pretty easy. Can you guys still see me? Cause my computer is totally not working. Um, I can barely see myself on here. So hopefully it is still there and working. All right, let me see if I missed any. I did have a great day. I was off today. I had a wonderful, um, is my phone on autofocus? I don't know, I just got this phone today. So I don't know if it is or not. Is it not focused? Let me see if I go like, <laughs> it should be auto focused, I would think. Um, oh, I see it does get a little bit, ah, uh... oh, okay, so I gotta go slower, I guess. I'll have to check that out. I don't know how you check and see if it's auto focus. Um, but I, I was off, I had a class and it was awesome and um, one of the girls brought cupcakes, strawberry cupcakes that were to die for. They were so good. And they were filled with strawberry jam. Oh, my gosh. They were just like, mm, so good. And then I went to um, the phone store and spent most of the afternoon at the phone store getting a new phone. So, all right. So, we're going to line it up again now. So I'm going to have to pull this towards me because I have to see right over top of it. And um, I hope it's going to be still in the screen. But let me see. I'm going to try and get it lined up, and there we go. So that looks good. All right, so see, you can see the flowers right in the middle of all those. So there we go. Oh, almost perfect. Yay. Okay. All right, so that's it for that part. So if I can do it, you can do it. It is not hard. Now we're going to put this together. So we're going to do... Let's see, let's do the blue part first. And is it, <laughs> hold on, let me scroll down these comments. Clear for you, gets a blip blurry, blurry at time. It gets fuzzy when I move and no movement is clear. Okay. Maybe if I, do you like it up close or you want me to do a little bit farther? Maybe if I do it farther away, it won't mess up so much. But if it's too close, it picks up my movement. Anybody know how to fix the focus if it's uh, doing that? Um, it is an iPhone 11. So I'm not sure if I need to reset some stuff. Maybe I just need to go really slow like this. <laughs> hey, look, it stays clear. All right, so that's good. If I go slow, it goes clear. If I go fast, it's gonna mess up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this one. So let me just put some glue on here, really slow, and try not to mess it up. Oh, it did it. It did a little bit of squiggle. All right, so we'll flip that over. Oh, I forgot to tell you, oh, this paper comes from the, um, sun prints and I didn't bring it with me to show you the rest of it but the paper is so pretty it's really rubber. it goes with that fern set okay yeah it does get um, blurry when I move I see that okay all right so then we're gonna put this one on with some dimensionals so 
So we're gonna just stick about six or seven on here. And, okay, Debbie says I'm fine. Both sides of some prints are so big. <laughs> yes, it was a great day. I wish I was off every single day. <laughs> And I could just do stamping all the time. That would be perfect. My life would be perfect. We'll stick a couple extras in here. Also, for this one, we're going to put two dimensionals. One on each end. Because you don't want the middle. Because the middle is going to be right on top of this bottle. And that's going to be up on dimensionals too. So we'll put three on there. And also, I, I've seen some comments about... Um, the video being private sometimes, the only time it's private is when, at, right after the live, um, I turn it on private so I can edit it because I can't really edit it while it's still playing. So I just have to stop it, turn it on private, edit it, and then I turn it back on. But um, it should only be for about 15 minutes. So if you ever get a private, just check back a few minutes later and it should be okay. So, don't get discouraged. And if any of you guys were watching the other day when I was messing up, I'm really sorry. I cannot control the internet. So, oh, the lady at the phone store told me something, though, that might kind of made sense. She said that um, all the phone companies and internet companies are trying to go to 5G now. So, they're updating their... Um, their lines and stuff, so that might be affecting, because a lot of people have said their internet and stuff is not working very good lately. So, not just like in my area. All right, so the bottle goes on with dimensionals, and then this one also dimensionals just on the ends, and that's just gonna go right over here, right across the middle. And then we need a little pretty bow, so I've got my linen thread. So I'm just gonna do a little single bow today, so we're just gonna tie a teeny bow and put that on top so key to bow is just keep your finger on the middle and pull it until it gets to be the exact size you want it and then just pull it tight and then cut it and I love the linen thread it always makes a cute bow all right, so then we're gonna put that on with the glue dot. And then you know what we're gonna to have to do because it's not a Lisa card unless we have some sparkle on it. So we're gonna to have to do some, oh, this one's going wonky. There we go. I like it when it kind of, uh, I'm gonna tuck it behind it. There we go. Oh, I don't know if I like that or not. Maybe we should just cut it shorter. All right, we'll make it a little bit shorter. Oh, I'll cut the paper a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got that. Now we're gonna have to spray some shimmer on there. So I've got my shimmer spray all mixed up in here. So this is just my alcohol, and I showed how to make it about a week ago or so on one of the videos. It's 70% alcohol, filled up almost all the way, and then you just take the shimmer paint, and I've got the link in the description box underneath that says um, how to how to get it on Amazon. So the Frost White you can order. The Champagne Mist, I, I'm not sure if that one's on there too. Um, I mix it all together, and I have a little bead in there to help shake it up. So I'm gonna shake it and get a scrap paper to go underneath, hold on. I don't mess up my pretty sheet of paper here. All right, so let's put this underneath and then we're gonna spray. And I just realized my words are crooked. Let me see if I can fix that. Hold on. Oh, it's stuck on there good. Ooh. All right, let's just move that a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so hopefully, can you see that? Debbie Spicer says, do you have a video with tips and tricks on fussy cutting? Yes, I will have to do that because 
the best way to fussy cut, and I don't really have anything. Let me do one of these real quick. So if you want to fussy cut this, cut it out like, like you're going to do it. The key is to keep your scissors the same spot and turn the paper. So I'm going to just keep my scissors here and I'm going to turn my paper. And you just kind of keep cutting. And I'm not going to go in all these little spots. But you're actually just turning your paper and you're keeping your hands basically the same exact way. So that is what I do, and that is the easiest way to do it. So your left hand is, if you're um, right-handed, your left hand is doing all the work, and your right hand is basically just kind of going up and down on the scissors, but I'm not really moving my right hand at all, hardly. The left hand is moving the paper, and that is what is the easiest way to do it. So I'll, I'll keep going for you. But you don't want to go like this and then this and you don't want to keep going like that with your wrist. So try to keep this hand with the scissors pretty still and just move that paper back and forth. And before you know it, you'll be done. These scissors are not very sharp. I really need to, this is an old pair. I need to sharpen them or get out a new pair because they're not my best pair of snips. Paper snips, when you get them when they're brand new, are awesome. But this pair is probably like, I don't know, a few years old. And they really need to be sharpened. But they cut like butter when they're brand new. So we're almost done. And voila. So there you go. So now I could take that, put it on a card, and have it like that. So that's all you got to do. So we are done. That was my card for today. I hope you love it, love it, love it. And um, it's pretty simple. Um, not much to it. I just love it though. And you can do it in any color, like I showed you. Just take this, practice on a piece of paper, which colors you like together. And then once you get the color that you want, then just put it on um, the scallop. So you don't mess up these scallops because I try not to waste those once they're cut. Um, girl that is so right about the telephones. My husband's phone got cut off without any notice because of the 5G crap. And then we had to buy him a new phone. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. I know that's the bad thing, too. I called Verizon, and I said, my phone is not working, so I want to cancel it and go to another carrier. And they're like, okay, they didn't even try to keep me nothing. I've been with Verizon for, like, 20 years. They did not even try to keep me at all. And I'm thinking, wow, that's pretty bad. Usually they, they want to do something to keep you as a customer. Nope. He's like, okay, we're um, unlocking your phone. You're all set. <laughs> and I was like, wow, <laughs> you just lost um, a customer without even trying. But I told him my phone wasn't working. But I'm already paid through like the first week of June. And I said, well, can I get refunded for that amount that I'm not using? He said, no, we don't do refunds. <laughs> like wow oh jude any tips for sharpening scissors i have an old pampered chef scissor sharpener i don't think they sell them anymore but i bet you amazon probably has a scissor sharpener and it's just like this metal thing and you just kind of go like this and it's got like this metal um thing so pretend this was it and you just kind of go like this with the metal piece in there and it just sharpens your scissors right up so mine's from Pampered Chef, but um, I bet you there's one on Amazon that's similar to that. All right, you guys, uh, any more questions? Um, or use alcohol and Wink of Stella. Yep, you can use Wink of Stella. All right, girl, you can do it one of these days. <laughs> yes, I hope I can quit my job and do Stampin' Up! full time. That would be awesome. All right, you guys, I will see you back um, on Thursday night for another video. And don't forget, I'm going to turn it off for just a few minutes, edit it real quick, put it back on, and then um, make sure you like, subscribe, share, um, all that good stuff. Give me a thumbs up. I I did. Well, I haven't spanked Stella in a while. You're right. I'll spank Stella right now. Here, let's give her a spanking. We'll just add some more spark on all right, we're going to just wink her.
take her right now. There we go. All right, so now we have some Swinka Stella sparkles on there too. Can you see it? Uh, my computer's blurry, but hopefully you guys can see that. Love it, love it, love it. All right, you guys. So we spank Stella and we have shimmer paint. So, oh, Fiskars makes a scissor sharpener. I'll have to check that. Aluminum foil might work too. All right, you guys, I'll see you Thursday. Have a great day.